Hello guys, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. My name is Isaac and I am a sophomore at Florida Virtual Full-Time High School. So today I just wanted to talk about things to consider when thinking about my virtual school. There are a few good things, few bad things, but overall I just want to preface it by saying that I love virtual school. I think that it is very beneficial and it's a great sign of the times. You know, doing school on the internet and from the safety and comfort of your own home, I think it's an amazing thing. For me uh, and my family, we all agreed that physical school is definitely not something for me. It's not because of any social thing or any sort of medical reason at all. It's just that today's climate in school is definitely not a good one in terms of violence and safety. I think that virtual school, you're definitely a lot more safer and there are a lot more uh, beneficial things about it than physical school, in my opinion. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to start with the negative points, just get those out of the way. My first point that I wanted to talk about was classes are not any easier in virtual school than they are at a physical school. So this should just be a given. You still have to learn your stuff. You still have to study. You still have to do quizzes. The only thing that is easier to do is to cheat, which is something that is definitely not allowed and something I don't do. It's just that uh, it's a lot more tempting <laughs> to do it sometimes because of uh, how accessible and easy it is to the internet. So that's the first thing. The good thing is that you still do have teachers, but obviously it's not face-to-face -face interaction. You have to text, email, or call them if you have any questions. Uh, and the way that it's laid out, the lessons, is that there is like a uh, portal that you go to for all your classes and you select your class that you want to do and then you go into uh, lessons which is separated by modules so each module I guess is just like a section of study so you go into it and there's just specific lessons in each module that you go to and then you click on those and then it's just maybe between four to eight pages of just information that you read and take down to study later and then for each lesson there's generally an assignment or a quiz. A good thing about it is that there's not any homework per se because every work that you have, every assignment, every quiz is homework because you're doing it at home. So they just assign a few assignments each week for you to complete. My next point that I wanted to talk about was that it's really easy to be distracted and to get off track because you're at your computer or your laptop or near your phone and while in physical school you're in a classroom where the teacher is teaching something and obviously they would catch you if you are on your phone or something like that it's completely up to you you have to have a lot of self-discipline and drive to do school online and at your computer if you don't have that motivation or that drive uh, that particular day or that moment, then you can easily go to YouTube or on your phone and just not do work because it's completely up to you. It's really hard to tempt that and resist that. That's my second point. So my third point is that it gets lonely sometimes. In school, obviously, you have that social interaction with other people, your classmates and your teachers. And in virtual school, you just don't have that. And the only way that you communicate with other people or your teachers is through your phone or email. And it's just not the same sometimes. Ways that you can get around that is just by having a good group of friends that you can uh, talk to. Or you can go to like a coffee shop or something, bring your laptop and do some schoolwork there. Or find some other virtual classmates that live around you and go meet up somewhere so you guys can study together. But for the most part, you're just at home and you don't have any classmates or anyone to talk to face to face. So sometimes that is the case. Now that's it for my negative points that I wrote down for you guys to consider. There's obviously more and these are just my top three and it can change depending on the type of person or what their preferences are, but that's it for me. So I'm going to move right along to my positive points about virtual school. 
If you are an introvert or someone who wants just to be done with school, then it really is good because the good thing about virtual school is that you're not confined to a classroom stuck at that one pace that you have to stick to uh, with the rest of your class. For virtual school, you have the ability to go at your own pace and uh, complete assignments as quickly as you want and that is completely up to you. There are suggested paces that you have to keep up with but it's not anything too crazy. You just have to at least keep up with that pace or you can go ahead of it and try to complete it before you have to. If you're an introvert then you're just by yourself, you know, so it's <laughs> it's good. My second point, which is a really, really big one, a really big positive point is sleep. You get to sleep in, which is really, really good for me. Most students, obviously, that go to physical high school have to get up at like 6 or 5.45, which is what I had to do before I started a virtual school, which absolutely sucks. Like, I hated that. Like, it was so bad. But with virtual school, you don't have to do that. It's something you don't have to wake up for. You don't have to catch a bus. You don't have to report to your homeroom. You don't have to do any of that. You just log in and that's it. You don't have to do it at a certain time. Even if you go to full-time virtual school, you don't have to log in until you wake up. The thing is that sometimes there are live lessons like uh, every week there's usually like one live lesson for a particular class every day. Each live lessons is just a whole bunch of your classmates and your teacher is logging in and then they just teach a lesson over like a certain sharing software thing. I don't know the name of it, but you don't have to go to those. Like they record them for you so you can just download it and uh, watch it. So sleep, that's a really good point. My third point is that the schedule is very flexible and you can do more things outside of school. So like if you're a specialty person, like you are a dancer or you play sports or whatever and you want to do it more and you don't want to be confined to like the evening time because of school then virtual school is really good because you can log in at any time of the day any time of the night and get your assignments done it's not just during the seven hours from like eight to three it's whenever you want to log in and do the work as long as it's within that week that those assignments are due so in my case i am getting a job that I can work during the day, unlike some other high school students. You don't have to go through your school to get clearance to work. You can just work and log in, do your schoolwork. You have that ability and that flexibility with uh, your school. So that's really good. So that was my final positive point. Um, but there's obviously plenty of more. These are just my top three. Virtual school, like I said in the beginning, has definitely been a really good thing for me and I think that's a really good thing for a lot of other people too. It can get a bit stressful at times like if you fall behind on your work then you have to catch up and you have to do it before the semester ends. We call it we call semester segments but it's not really a big deal like you just sit down and do the work like there's no there's no excuses really you just have to sit down and do it. So that's good if you're willing just to stick to the minimum pace then there's no worries. You get the same amount of time off as any other high school student. So you have your winter break and your fall break, you got your spring break, you got summer. And those aren't even limitations for you to stop working. You can still work over those times and get ahead if you want to. So yeah, that's all my things that you guys should consider when you're thinking about virtual school. I hope you guys enjoyed. So this will be my first video. And I do want to apologize for the quality of it. I am recording it on my phone, so it's definitely not the best. And I do not have any editing skills whatsoever. So it's not going to be a really good video, and I am sorry about that. But I do plan on doing more things revolving around virtual school, the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps, weight loss. As you can tell, I'm definitely not... Uh, skinny. <laughs> I'll be documenting that and just anything that I'm interested in talking about. So if this helped you then please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribing is optional. If you have any questions you can send me a message or comment down below and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.